Hi guys, I am Issa. Today, I'm going to learn how to interact with HTML elements using PHP. So, in my index.html file, I'm going to make a div. So div is going to have the class of container inside of it. I'm going to make a form. Form. The form action is equal to app.php. I have this blank file called app.php. So, inside of the app.php, So I'm going to write name. I'm going to write username. Then input type type text and a name of you add, which means the username. So, the reason we have to add a name is because that's what we're going to be using in the PHP. We want to say email. I'm going to put an input, a type of and the name of EM, password. Say. Yeah, password. I'm going to say each. Okay, okay. Input type text name is equal to ag. So after the div class container, I'm going to write. I'm going to write create account and then a br. Now I have all of these. If we want our forms to be able to interact with PHP, we have to add a method equals to get. I'm going to get the information out of it. So I'm done. Input type submit. That's going to be. We're going to use to submit it. So now I'm going to go to our app.php. If we're still writing any PHP code, we need our PHP opening and closing tags. PHP opening tag and then the closing tag. Inside of it, I'm going to say I'm going to make the variable and user name equal to so and then dollar sign in the underscore get in capital letters. That use these brackets to access the item of it. So, index.html. I gave the name of un. So, let's say un. Let's say echo user name. So now, if we enter in the username, you press submit. It says the username we entered. Let me just go back. So instead of just the username, I'm going to just put in the string quotation marks in here. And here, I'm going to put h1, and I'll go to h1. And I'm going to say username. 
Không hiểu sao tám con chất sĩ Vào con Đang đi hữu sẵn nhìn Chờ phát bệnh sẵn mệt khổ rồi It says that I'm gonna think for the email and the age. I'm gonna say email. It was to that. The am. I'm gonna change this age to input type number. Okay, I'm gonna just say the age equal to get. I'm going to copy this and paste it two times. This one's going to say H2, and this one's going to be H3. Right here, it's going to say for email, and then the email variable. So, right here, I'm going to say H. Um, the A variable. Now, if I enter an email, uh, if I enter a username, then an email, I'm going to say email, and then an age. I'm going to submit query button. It shows all of these, so I can go. I'm going to submit query. The URL in these places. You don't see the variables that you declared. So un the username. So if I edit it, it's going to write them It's going to press enter. It's going to edit it here. We can do the same thing for the email and the age. Notice that also PHP and HTML. Now let's dial it. So I saw that CSS. I'm going to say dot container container and this is dot container okay background blue font family okay the font family okay so I'm going to go back So I'm going to give a padding 20 px border radius of 50 px. Now I'm going to just padding to 50 px. Now if I hit HTML, turn it to that. But in the app.php, if you want to link the CSS to it, then, then I'm going to copy the linking CSS in the index.html, paste it here. And I'm also going to put this in a div. I'm going to put this in a div to class of container. Now in here, it does the styling as well. Now, let just say color black. Remember what to say, input. So, I'm going to say padding 15px, 10px. If I go back here, input as it increased, I'm going to say display block. And we're on separate lines. And here, I'm going to say font size 2 em. So double the font size. I'm going to take font size to em input. I'm going to use the font size of input. I'm going to put that in the same. FPX. Yeah. 
and then here I'm gonna say let's fit content. Now it's gonna say decreased. If we press the sum, it's curvy. Here, we'll not be able to get back. So, before, uh, we'll just change this color to white. Let's buy add the PHP. The echo. Okay. Let's we'll say an A. We need a wink. Back is equal to index dot HTML. Also back. Then we to write back in here. And myself dot CSS. I'm going to style the A color of gray. I'm going to put the sum as query. This button that says back, but if we click on it, we'll go back to where we were. So, anyways, that's the end of today's tutorial. If you've enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe. So, bye.